Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how you can remove a tattoo using Mocha Pro. So first of all I'm going to create a new project in Mocha and then I'm going to import my clip by clicking on choose and then I'm going to select the clip and click on open and uh, then you can basically leave all these settings as default. Um, so it just gives you your frame rate and your uh, frame range and all of those things. I'm going to leave everything default, click OK and uh, that will basically then import your clip into Mocha. So if I play through this, you'll see that I've got this tattoo on my arm. And for this tutorial, I'm only going to um, remove this bottom section of the tattoo. So first of all, I'm going to go to the first frame and then I'm going to click on the X spline here at the top. Let's just zoom in there a little bit. So I'm going to click on the magnifying glass and just zoom in there a bit, something like that, and then click on the X spline. And then I'm going to draw a uh, X spline mask around this area. So you can go quite big, something like that. And then you just right click to end that. And then here at the bottom, I'm going to enable perspective because my arm is uh, actually rotating slightly. I'm going to enable that and then I'm going to click on track forward. And that's basically going to go through and track um, that part of my arm. So let's just give it a second. OK, so once the tracking is done, you can just scrub through and see that your uh, track is actually good. And that's looking pretty good. It's rotating, all of that. So then I'm going to go back to the first frame and uh, then I'm going to rename this layer. I'm just going to call it Tracker. So just double click on the track name and just rename it, something like that. And then we're going to draw another X-Spline, which will create a second uh, layer. So I'm going to click on X-Spline again. And then I'm going to draw a bit of a tighter mask around this section of the tattoo. OK, something like that. And then you right click to end that again. And then we want to link that second layer to the tracker layer. So with layer two selected, you go down to link to track. And then we're going to select the first layer, which is tracker. And that's automatically going to link it. So we don't have to do any tracking. You can just scrub through it and you'll see that that second layer is linked automatically. OK, let's go ahead and rename that second layer. I'm going to call it uh, tattoo, something like that. And uh, then basically we're going to go to the remove tab here at the bottom. Make sure that your tattoo layer is selected and then you click on remove. And uh, this is basically where we're going to create a clean plate uh, that we can edit in Photoshop. So I'm going to use uh, the first frame or frame zero for this. And then here at the bottom it says create. And all you have to do is you click on create and that's going to create a clean plate in your uh, working folder. So if I open my finder, you'll see that there's a results folder and then there's a clean plate clip with a frame number and it's a TIFF file. So if I open that, it's just a clean plate of that frame. So we're going to go ahead and open that in Photoshop. So I'm just going to right click open with and then select Photoshop. OK, so we're in Photoshop and then we're just going to zoom in here a little bit, something like that. And then I'm going to use the clone stamp tool to remove that section of the tattoo. So I'm just going to click Alt to uh, click a reference point and then I'm just going to start painting that out. So I'm just going to do this really kind of rough. Um, I'm not that good at Photoshop, but let's just see how this goes. OK, so that's not the best job, uh, but I'm sure you can do better, but that's OK for this tutorial. And then I'm just going to go ahead and save that. So just click File, Save to overwrite uh, that file. And then we're going to go back into Mocha Pro. So back into Mocha Pro, I'm going to make sure that I'm on the same frame, which is frame zero. And then here at the bottom, I'm going to click this Use Clean Plates Exclusively. Now, I find that this gives me the best results, but you can obviously experiment a bit and see what works for you. OK, then you've got your illumination model, which is either none, linear or interpolate. And I usually use either none or linear. That gives me the best results. But you can obviously also experiment with this and see what works the best. So for this shot, because I'm rotating my arm a little bit, uh, there's a bit of an illumination change on my arm. And I'm going to go with linear for this one. And then where it says dissolve, I'm going to set this to blend. And I'm going to change the dissolve width to 20. Uh, that's basically just going to fade it in nicely for us. And then you don't have to enable any of those. Uh, you can obviously play around and see what you get, but I usually get the best results using either none linear and then blend with a 20 uh, dissolve. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, you can click this button here, render forward, and this will basically just render through um, and use that one clean plate to remove that uh, two uh, from your shot. So let's go ahead and do that. 
Okay, so the render is complete. I'm just gonna switch off the overlays. So go to view and show all overlays. You can switch that off. And let's just play through this quickly. And as you can see, it's looking pretty good. Um, you can obviously spend a little bit more time in Photoshop and do a better cleanup job than me, but I think that's looking good for this tutorial. So yeah, um, as you can see, even if my arm is turning, you can see the illumination or the lighting change uh, is also blending in very nicely. And um, yeah, I think it's pretty good for a uh, very quick job. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And uh, also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of any new tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.